guys, what's up? I'm super excited to talk about this new introduction by Figma, which is the liquid glass effect. And I actually think they did a pretty good job. And they actually have this playground file that I can share in the link in the comments or in the description or whatever. So definitely do check it out. So first of all, you can actually access the Figma, the, the liquid glass effect only in the design mode. So it's only available in the design mode. It's only applicable on frames. So for example, if I was to draw a rectangle and if I was to go to effects here, sorry, if I go to effects here, you would not be able to see liquid glass here. It's going to be disabled. Very similarly, you can access liquid glass as I've already shown you using the plus button in the effects panel. And then you have a bunch of different settings like these, which you can control the light source, like the position of the right source, the intensity, the refraction, the depth, the dispersion and the frost. Now, what do these things do? Now, if we talk about the light effect, as you can see, uh, if the light effect is coming from the top, then you're going to see some uh, highlights at the top left and the top and the bottom right. Very similarly, if the like, if the shine is actually coming from the right, then you're going to see the highlights here and the highlights here potentially. So that's where what the lighting is going to do. What is the refraction going to do? The refraction is going to refract the thing that's going to be placed below the gloss. We can actually play around with that once we actually get to it. The depth, as I mentioned, can actually enhance what's below and the dispersion just basically just decides on the edges what that dispersion is going to look like. And very similarly, the frost is actually going to control how much frosted the actual effect or the glass looks. So if we just play around with it, you can see we have this particular frame and they've asked us very politely to apply this liquid glass effect. So let's just do that. If you want to apply a effect directly, just go to this drop down here and click on glass. And by default, it already looks amazing. In my opinion, we can choose the intensity. Obviously, if the intensity is quite less then the edges and the highlights are going to be reduced. If the intensity is quite a lot, then the highlights are going to be amazing. Very similarly, we can move things around. As you can see, this particular light, wherever the light is, is actually being reflected at the at the opposite positions. So if the light is coming from the top, it's going to be shown at the top left and then it's going to be highlighted at the bottom right as well. If I similarly actually have the light coming from the bottom right, it's going to be on the bottom right and the top left as well. So you get an idea of that. Then we talk about the refraction. Now, what does a refraction do? Now, one thing that I do want to point about about refraction. I mean, it's a complicated topic to understand, uh, but if you just have a look at some examples of refraction, like this is an example of refraction and this would be another example of refraction. So what refraction basically is, is basically how uh, something appears, let's say broken or placed in a different way when you actually have uh, light passing in a different manner. And that happens when you actually have things within a glass or things behind a glass or things behind or things inside water and stuff along those lines. So if we just completely get rid of the refraction, as you can see where you're going to see what's behind the glass in a very similar manner. But as you apply refraction a lot more, it's going to start bending the things that are going to be living behind it. And very similarly, depth is actually going to bend it a lot more. And dispersion is actually the effect that you see on the edges, which you can't really see quite a lot right now. Let me just go ahead and see if you can see it. Actually, I think this may not be a nice example to see it. Let me see if there's another example that I can share where you would be able to see the dispersion quite a lot. Now, as you can see, when you have things close to the edge and you disperse it, now there's this strange color that actually appears. And that's basically, I think, light being dispersed. So that's like a minor thing if you want to play around with that. But if I, let's say, update the refraction slightly, you can see that we have some depth going on here as well. And you can update that to actually play around with it. Then you have your dispersion as well. You can go ahead and actually play around with that as well. And then I actually personally like the frost slightly so we can have there have it there as well. One thing that I don't like is how less the highlights are right now. So let's just go ahead and actually increase the highlights. And I think this looks pretty amazing to me. Let's go to the other step. Now, as you can see, it already has this particular effect applied here and it's just asking us to play around with it. One other thing, as you can see, this particular glass effect actually shows you how this particular light is being reflected here. And if I just go to the edges, because this is just something that I want to show you, I'm going to go to go to the edges and I have this particular glass effect. Now, if I choose the dispersion, as you can see, that's not what we're concerned with. But if you choose the refraction, that actually shows how much 
the shape that's behind it is actually going to be refracted at the edges or if it's just going to remain pretty simple and pretty bare the way it is and you can just play around and control that very similarly you can obviously go ahead and apply these things on other elements like for example this one i can just come here and i can change this to have a slightly frosted effect so we can see and we can read the text especially when you have a bunch of images and a bunch of colors it's really nice to actually have a frosted effect so you can actually see the text you can read it and it's not going to be an accessibility issue you can see the preview here they've already created a preview of this particular effect with a frosted glass and we can see how that actually looks when you're scrolling up and down now if i scroll up and down as you can see it's looking really really cool and really awesome so that's there as well very similarly they have some other examples here in this particular example they've asked us to actually set each nested icon to 30 percent opacity and in the appearance panel change the blend mode from pass through to pass lighter and they've already done this here so you can have a look at it i don't want to take too much time but if you have a look at this particular thing as you can see we have an animated gradient at the background and that actually shows you how this particular effect is actually looking when you have different types of colors actually coming behind this particular li liquid glass effect then in the last example i just quickly want to go ahead and show this otherwise obviously i'm going to attach the playground file you can just play around with everything in this particular last effect we can actually set up actually even before setting up let's just go ahead and actually have a preview if we go ahead and have a look at this just click on this and you actually have a really beautiful uh opening popover with a nice liquid glass effect that just blurs the background behind it so that's pretty much an introduction to liquid glass definitely do check it out i think is a really powerful introduction to figma and i think what the controls that figma has provided is just going to make this a lot more usable otherwise obviously we're going to have we would have had a lot of accessibility issues